Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down and then the nitty gritty under 10 minutes. And if it goes over 10 minutes, it's something very, very, very important. And not important to liberals, libertars, people who believe in God, people like to smoke, people that drink, people like ayahuasca, people like DMT. Listeners, discretion is advised. That's 80% of you should not be watching my videos. I am only looking for elite people who have the capability of asking questions without becoming biased or subjective in their own manner. But I don't mind questions. I like to learn from other people too. If you have any comments, questions, insults, or even roast fest, put it down below. All right, okay, you can roast me. I like being roasted. Uh, people call me crackhead, people call me better if they want, I don't give a fuck. But um, it's people who literally hate me for me talking the way I talk, because they don't know who I am. But let's get on with the topic. For today's topic will be about polygyny. Is it worth it? This message is mainly for um, lower-ended females. Females who basically are at the bottom of the totem pole. You got kids, you're not a virgin, yada, yada, yada. You smoke, you're overweight. And I'll, I, I, when I talk to some women and I said, why don't have you have you considered polygyny with your fat ass, with all the motherfucking kids, with your expectancy level? You know, you expect a man to pay for everything and you look like that. Is it worth it? It's definitely worth it if you could if you just have a low self-esteem to take advantage of the bait regular beta males out there out there. There's a lot of beta males out there who's willing to take care of your ass because they are just as desperate as you are. And what happens is that beta males are more faithful than beta alpha males, which a lot of women tend to gravitate towards. Okay, you know, I keep telling them stop fucking with them beta alpha males. But they don't want to listen. So you did it. let them fuck with the beta alpha males. I don't give a fuck what other label they have. But the beta males are more focused. They are average looking. They probably got their own little problems. They may be fat themselves. But they're more likely to be virgins. Beta males are more likely to be virgins. So why just fuck with guys who are beta alphas, who are whoremongers, fuck boys, tattoos and everything, coming out of the jail cell, all yada, yada, yada. Why fuck with them? Okay? But... To each his own. So I, I teach these women this shit. And I say, man, yo, 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 you wasting your life away. Then you get angry at men. And you have no right to feel angry at men when you choose those stupid ass beta alpha males. You what? You're not gonna qualify. We're not talking about alphas here. You don't qualify for alphas. So some of y'all women be thinking your 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 life is like, oh, I want an alpha, but you don't know what an alpha is. An alpha is strict as fuck. They're not gonna deal with you. You're gonna have to come with your own shit, or you're gonna be supporting them. Because alphas feed off of women. They feed off of everything. A passive motherfucker is more likely to be a beta because he doesn't demand nothing. A person who doesn't demand is a beta. A person who does demand is an alpha. Keep it simple, people. Keep it real, all right? So when I basically tell women this shit, they t it goes to one ear, out the motherfucking other. I don't, I don't even know what to say. You might as well just stop being my patron, okay? Because it's like, you won't want you don't want to know what femininity is. You don't know what, it, what you don't want to know what subservitude is. You don't want to know none of that shit. You just want to be fed a handout all of the time. You know men is low maintenance. You know this. So you hate on men because you haven't explored all different types of men, but instead you focus on looks. You focus on motherfucking money. Okay. This is a low-minded frequency of what most women are thinking about. When I ask women about security, I'm like, what do you mean by security, okay? Shouldn't you want to get your own? Or shouldn't you want to learn how to take care of a man when he's into polygyny? I, that things don't add up to me. I'm like, what are you offering? You're not just offering a baby. You're offering some pussy that's already been used, right? So you can't do that, right? You can't do that with alphas. And you could do that with beta alphas. You could do that with betas. So I don't see what the fucking problem is. What is wrong with fucking polygyny, I tell women. What is wrong with polygyny? I'm not sharing no man. But that's the future. You've already rode the cock carousel. Betas, definitely betas. They're more faithful. And then the beta alphas. I've talked to women on how to achieve polyandry. And there are women who have actually succeeded when you have the money. Because you can make them out to be your wives, in a sense, and vice versa, right? So what's wrong with doing polyandry? It's nothing wrong with it. You might not be able to have kids as fast. Okay, but you understand my point here. You're trying to get a big family who's loving enough to create the family as a business proposition. 
You're not trying to get lovey-dovey and all this other bullshit. Though it is cool at some times. It's good to be a little affectionate and a little romantic if you want to do those things. But trust me here. If you are the bottom of the barrel type female. Bottom of the barrel fucking bitch. Fat. Ugly as hell. Snooty. Stinky. Okay? You got to pay me $100 a month baby, for that. Because I can help your health. All right? I can help your goddamn health. I can fix that shit because I'm in my past. Do you know who the fuck I am? But we got guys hating on me, calling me a pedo because I'm going overseas looking for virgins. And then, this is crazy. Then I make videos. But it's okay. It's fucking okay. You ain't giving me attention that I need, that I want. Okay. But other than that, I digress here. So the moral of what I'm saying here is that I love you all, but I hate the many of you. But y'all women going to have to stop being asshats. Stop being asshats with this narcissistic shit. I know most of you are narcissists. I know that. But this is why you come to me for assistance, correct? And I'm out of here, guys. Peace.